Hello and welcome to yet another wow, 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 worldly experience. Okay, so in the previous video, what we talked about was how to set up your RageMP working environment for the branch 1.1, the current branch, the latest one. And if you still haven't seen the video and you do not know how to set it up, then I recommend that you pause this video, go back to the previous video, and then come back. And I'm guessing you've now watched the video, so let's begin. In this video, what we're going to learn is about server events. What is a server event, you may ask? A server event is basically any event that is triggered when something happens in game. What gets triggered? A certain function gets triggered. So just like in the previous video, we made a server event. This event was when the resource starts. For the sake of this video, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make two server events. The first server event would be when a player connects and the second server event would be when a player spawns or respawns. So to make a server event, this is how you should do. First, you need a square bracket open and close. Inside the square bracket, you need to write the attribute server event then we will open and close a normal bracket. Inside the normal bracket, we will write event dot player connected. Now, to know the entire list of server events, I will show you where you can find all of the server events. Just open whatever browser you have. And then just Google rage mp so actually just write rage mp wiki you'll have this wiki.rage.mp click on it and on the left hand side there's a panel and you can see over here there's written serverside.net c sharp what we need right now is the server side so we will use all of the server events. Actually, we will see all of the server events via this link. Just go to server, first go to wiki.rage.mp, then find the server event serverside.net, and then click on events. And here you have it. This is all of the list, all of the server event list that you could use. So right now, what we're going to use is on player connect. So I'll click on it and this is the attribute that we have just created in our code server event event dot player connected server event event dot player connected now right after this attribute there needs to be a function that function is what will execute when the event happens in game so if a player connects then public void on player connect this function will get triggered. Whenever a player tries to connect, this function will be triggered. Now, this function needs arguments. For resource start, we do not need any sort of parameters, but for on player connect, we need parameters. Now, to find out which parameters you need, just go back to the RageMP wiki, and you will see over here, there will be an example. It's public void on player connected, which is the function name. And then the parameter would be the player parameter of data type client. Now, this data type client is valid for version 0.3.7. But in case of 1.1, the client data type has been changed to player. So we will write the data type first, which is player and then we will give a variable. I will just write the name of the variable, the identifier as player with a small p. Now, if you do not know what a data type is or what a variable is, then I recommend going through C sharp lessons. You first need to be fluent with C sharp. Now, keeping that aside, this is the basic signature of the function of the server event when a player connects, player connected. Now, what we want to do is that whenever a player connects, we want to show the entire player base that so-and-so player has connected. So what we will do is we will send chat message to all. So npi dot 
chat dot send chat message to all and inside this function we are going to give the string uh, whatever string you want to so I'm going to format it so that it prints the name of the player so what I'll do is this is the identifier the player identifier that is passed in the function and then this object player object contains an attribute called name this basically contains the name of the player so player is the object and name is basically the variable residing inside the object so now I have name and then I'll just write has connected to the server this is one server event this will trigger whenever a player connects this will be prompted to everyone in the server just like this we're gonna create another server event for when a player spawns so again square bracket and then server event and inside a normal bracket we will write event dot player spawn this is the server event attribute and the very next thing after the attribute needs to be a function which will be triggered so I'll write public void on player spawn now to know the parameter for this function we will again head back to wiki.ragemp we will try to find okay here it is on player spawn and this is the attribute that we just wrote and the parameter for the function is client player so the data type needs to be of client and I'll remind you again the data type client is only valid for version 3 0.3.7 for 1.1 it is not client anymore it is player with a capital P P. So this is the data type player and then we need to give an identifier for the object. I'll just write it as player with a small p. Now whenever a player spawns, I want, let's say I want to send all of the players inside the server a message that the player has spawned or respawned. So again, we will use nepi.chat.send chat message to all and inside I'll pass a string this string will be whatever I give and this string will be presented to everyone inside the inside the server so first let me give the name so player as in the object dot name as in the variable has respawned and there you have it this is how you create basic server events with this, you can create much more complex, advanced things, which I'll be showcasing or giving tutorials in further videos. But for now, let's test it. I'm going to run. Let's wait for the executable file to load up. ready let's see let me just pause it and there we go our console has almost started since I have so many things active that's why it's taking so long to load but just give it a little while it will pop up real soon now that the game mod has loaded over here you can see my game mod has started which was on the event on resource start my game mod has started and then you can see these as well loading server events found three server events and loaded three server events this is basically telling the programmer that the program has found three server events and has been loaded successfully let's head in game and see if it works as you can see I have connected and it shows that Skylar Parker has connected to the server and Skylar Parker has respawned and there you have it this is the basic gist of server events and if you have any questions then leave a comment if you learned anything at all from this video 
then hit that like button if you want more tutorials about RageMP version 1.1, then subscribe and peace out.